All right, guys, we're back. Just a real quick review for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Just got it on Amazon Prime, along with all these other movies that I still haven't had a chance to really sit down and watch. Um, got a couple of days to watch these two. And then the rest of these, I got about 20 to 25 days on each. But anyway, back to, uh, to this one. Um... If you have to finish out the series, you know what I'm saying? If you have to fin finish out the story, if you must absolutely find out what happens um, with, you know, J.J. Abrams and the whole entire gang that they got over here, then it's it's a decent movie, you know what I'm saying? It, it does complete the saga. It does complete the Skywalker um, storyline. It it tells you everything that you wanted to know as far as where they're taking the franchise and what's going to happen next. But as far as, is this a good movie? Absolutely not. The rating I would give of this movie would have to be like a 5.5 .5 or a 5 out of 10 stars. All it did was just cookie cutter, cookie cutter after cookie cover, cutter performance. All it was doing is just putting... Um, this chapter and this chapter and this chapter and this chapter and this chapter trying to correct this one <laughs> and then putting in that chapter it, it, it was just i don't know man i think what, what happened is that they really messed up on this one right here so with the last jedi since the last jedi was just so so bad since it just really kind of destroyed the whole entire you know uh skywalker name and everything and they did a decent job with The Force Awakens. They they had to go back and, and try to fix so many things that were wrong with this one. You know, number one, giving Luke Skywalker an actual send-off. Number two, letting Luke Skywalker do more stuff and, and showing how powerful he is. And, you know what I'm saying, just using the Force and all that. So this this right here, man, The uh, the Last Jedi, it absolutely destroyed... Star Wars for a, a brand new, you know, generation, man. It, it really did, you know. Um, everybody complains about the prequels. You know, I grew up with the prequels. I love the prequels. And when you compare them, you know, to, to the, all these, you're just like, dude, this is crazy. I mean, come on. Revenge of the Sith, dope as hell, man. That was so, so dope. I don't care what anybody says, man. <laughs> Phantom Menace <laughs> was dope, you know. And that, that's where I got introduced, man, you know. Um you know, with the uh, Attack of the Clones, um, the Phantom Menace, and then obviously, you know, with uh, Revenge of the, of the Sith, man. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll never forget going to the movies, man, to, to watch, um, <clears throat> you know, the uh, um, Phantom Menace and um, Attack of the Clones. Man, I graduated in 2002. Kind of shows you how old I am. But um, in 2002, man, I remember, you know, a packed theater. You know, everybody's going to check out, you know, what is what is this, you know? Um, yeah, it was dope, man. It was really, really dope, man. Um, obviously I didn't grow up with, you know, any of these cause in 1983, I wasn't even born. I was born in 84. So by the time, you know, um, <laughs> Star Wars was ending, you know, I was, I was just coming into the world, man. So, you know, that's, that's how it is, man. But, um, for Rise of the Skywalker, it was, it was, it was, it was dope to kind of see what they were able to do with it. And my internet's been going crazy, man, for like the last couple of days. It just stops working every now and then. But um, it was it was crazy to see what they were able to do with it as far as um, bringing back Palpatine. Um, definitely surprised you with, you know, who Ray was, you know, Ray Palpatine. And, and um, you know, instead of being Ray Skywalker. And I still don't understand that either. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, she, it's, how do you want to say it? Oh, she chose the the good side of the force, you know what I'm saying, rather than the dark side, so she's a Skywalker, or some crap, man, but it was just, it, it was just stupid, man, it was so, such a waste of, of, of time, man, you know, to sit through two hours and some change, I think it's two hours and, and, um, let me go back, I think it's two hours, like, 24 minutes, something, something crazy like that, you know, I can't even do that, because uh, I, I don't have any internet right now, let me see if I can retry it, see if it, what it does. Nope, that's not going to do anything. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, trying to s see, you know, how, you know, she connects to the Force and, and you know, seeing how, you know, um, she's going to choose the good side and make, you know, Ben choose the good side. And it was just, it was just terrible, man, you know. 
And then they had a whole bunch of different scenes from other movies, man, like the Matrix Revolution and Matrix Reloaded. And they had um, just a whole bunch of stuff that they grabbed from, you know, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, and it was just it was just bad, man. But um, at least it's over with. At least Bad Robot can move on to something else, man. Um, and I would like to see somebody else just take hold of, of Star Wars and take it in a new direction, man. But there really isn't anything to kind of talk about, man. You know, Palpatine returned and then he was killed. He was killed by, by someone who... St and I think that's what really upsets me the most is, like, she 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 uses the Force. She's she's more powerful than, than any other Jedi. She's able to defeat Palpatine. And the whole reason behind it is that every Jedi that has died is inside of her. You know, so if, if you think about that, man, you, you know, there was only a, a couple of, of Jedi's uh, left, you know what I'm saying, on, on the entire, an entire galaxy, you know what I'm saying, when they executed the order, and then all of a sudden, you know, like, um, Mace Windu, for instance, uh, Luke Skywalker, all these other Yoda, all these other, you know, Jedi died when, it just doesn't make any sense why she's... <laughs> why she's the most powerful one or how she used all the force and, and it was just i don't even understand it man you know what i'm saying i think that's what's so frustrating you just don't understand the decisions man you know and and was was it was the only reason that this got made the way it is was it was it because of jj abrams did the jj abrams just get have his back against the wall and it, and it feels like justice league man it feels like you know damn the the studio you know didn't want you know, certain decisions to be made, so they brought somebody else in with somebody else's script, and I think that's what happened, I really do, I think there was such a bad taste in consumers' mouths that whenever they decided to, um, whenever they decided to, to try and, and, um, and continue this movie, the, the Last Jedi was so bad that they had to do something different for this one, man, yeah, this was two hours and 21 minutes, and it was a long two hours and 21 minutes, man. It was like, dude, are you serious, man? Like, this is just crazy. But it just went on and on, man. Um, but hey, man, you know, at least it's done. Visual effects, I mean, this is a Star Wars film. This is a Disney, you know, production, Lucas film. Come on, man. Come on. You know, the it, the quality of the film is going to be amazing, you know. Um, everybody's going to do a great job. You know, the best thing about this thing was when Lando got on screen Whenever you saw them finish up the uh, the story arc with uh, Princess Leia, and um, you know see her and um, Luke Skywalker together, you know, but but there wasn't like a I thought there would be a cool moment to kind of see, you know, all the all the past Jedi. Why couldn't they bring all them into like this scene or something? You know, like when they were, when 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 Ray was using the Force and then Ben used the Force. Why couldn't there be like this moment where? You had like your 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 ghost force, you know, walk where where everybody's together, man. You know, I just, it was just such a miss, such such a missed opportunity, man. You know, I just I don't know, man. But um, I mean that's that's where we're at now with movies, man. Movies are not as good as they used to be, man. And I hate to to beat that 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 uh that whole you know story and 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 go down that road, man. But you know these movies just aren't that aren't that good, man. If you guys are looking for a good movie, man, um, try the uh, Tread movie. Really, really great. And um, you know movies like Bumblebee. For some reason, they just they'll never uh they'll never um you know have the the um how you want to say it the star power. You know what I'm saying? Because this has a 6.8. Bumblebee has a 6.8 rating. And if you go back real quick, you know, with uh, Rise of Skywalker, Skywalker has a 6.8. Come on, man. So you're telling me that, that Bumblebee is the exact same movie, like, you know, rating-wise? Is that bad of a movie where it can't even get... I mean, it's just crazy, man. But that's what we're living at right now, man. Um, same thing with Jumanji. The next level wasn't that good. You know, um, they probably should have just left it alone. And then I haven't got a chance to watch Birds of Prey, but I will be watching that soon, man. We're out of here, guys. That's it. I don't feel like talking about them no more. But, um, yeah, that was Rise of the Skywalker. If you have to see it, if you're, you know, a Star Wars fan or whatever, I would say skip it, man, to be honest. But if you just have to, you know, make sure you rent it um, on Amazon, and then you shouldn't pay uh, any more than uh, $3.99. So $3.99 and below for this movie, man. We're out of here, guys. Take it easy.